Hey, what's up gamers? Skello Mystic here. Welcome back to my series on advanced fishing called Catch It Fast, where I attempt to catch a particular type of fish in less than 10 minutes of gameplay. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different than you're used to, in that this can be up to a 30 minute video. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The first one is, this is going to be the last video in this series. These are the last fish that I haven't caught yet and put on camera for you guys to see. So, we're going to have three fish in this video instead of one. I feel that 10 minutes per fish is not unfair. The other reason is that we're in Mushu, and we're in the Crimson Fields, where you've got to go through about 20 or 30 minutes of gameplay to actually get to this fishing hole before you can even start. And I don't really want to come through here 30 minutes just to catch three separate fish. I feel that, you know, lumping them all into one video is a good idea in this case. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the fish that we're looking for here are going to be a storm fish, the epic musushi, another storm fish called the grape jellyfish just because I haven't got it yet on camera, and a fire fish called the samurai fish. So we've got three different fish that we can go for here. Luckily for us, when we do a scan, we see that all that's in here is storm and fire. Now, the storms that are in here can be musushi, but they can also be the grape jellyfish or the origami fish. You never quite know which one it's going to be. And so we're going to go ahead and... Oh, I think I missed him. He's moving kind of quick, actually. Anyhow, as I was saying, the fire fish that are in here are going to be the samurai that we're looking for, but as well the trash fish that are fire cuda and charred decoy. So there's a number of fish that we can get here besides the ones we want, but we're going to try to pick out the, these three in particular and bring them in. Let's see. Now I'm going to use this charm fish spell because in this fishing hole we got a cliff system. And put them all asleep too. It's really hard to get them to come where you want them to be. There we go. These spells are things that you can get from Grizzleheim once you get a little bit more advanced in your fishing. This is going to make it a little bit easier for me to get these fellows in here in a little bit less time. Oh, I got a fire on that lord, but that's okay. I'm not quite sure how long that spell lasts for either. Okay, a charred decoy. Now, I did a charm to bring them into me and then a sleep spell to stop them from moving. I'm not quite sure how long the sleep works. I like it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's nice to not have to chase them back and forth and back and forth, but... Okay, somehow or other I'm missing that one. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer to it. There we go, right on him. I wouldn't ordinarily use this spell, but this pond is probably my least favorite of all the ponds in the spiral. Because it's cliff based, you can't get the fish to, oh look, right away, Musushi. There's our man. That's awesome, you know what? I might be able to make this video a lot shorter than I thought. There he is, Musushi. On the first fish of the, of the day. I love it, <laughs> I absolutely love it. All right, let me take a couple of screenshots for the video and let you guys get a little better look at him. There we go. Oh, I got his eyes closed. Oops, that's fine though. This is what he looks like. This is the last epic that I have to catch on this, on this fishing series. Sorry, I'm stumbling a little bit. So now all I need is a grape jellyfish and a samurai fish. And that shouldn't be too bad. Well, look, I think sleep just stops them permanently. Look at this. They haven't moved for at all. <laughs> wow, I, I, I'm liking this spell. This is great. I rec if you guys can get this spell, I recommend it. Wow. Now, the samurai fish ordinarily, whenever they're not asleep, <laughs> move pretty fast and they're easy to tell from the other fire fish in here. But I've put them to sleep, so I'm not quite sure what they'll do. 
At least they wake up enough to bite the lure. <laughs> I'm listening for him. Sorry, I can't see the I can't see the bobber, so I have to listen for it. I think they're just getting ready to wake up. I see him moving a little bit. Oh, that's a charred decoy. I'm surprised that the sleep spell lasts this long. And there's nothing wrong with that, but ordinarily they have these spells last five seconds or so, and they're done. I got two swords right there. And I'll bet you one of them is my grape jellyfish. And it would be awesome if I could pull in three fish that are targeted, three fish in less than 10 minutes. That would be just too cool. Let's see. And I'm at about four or five minutes now with the hardest one out of the way. I think they're back to moving normally. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, I've never used that sleep spell before. This is my first time on it, and I like how it works. Let's see. Well, no, he's kind of, he's still kind of moving groggy. Like he hasn't had his coffee yet. There we go. He's going for it now. Hmm. One bite. Now the Greek jellyfish is a common storm here, so it shouldn't be too hard at all to get. I'm listening for him. That was three pulls, so it's probably a grape jellyfish. And there it is. Okay, we've got two out of three in five minutes. Now all we need is a samurai fish, and we'll be out of here. And it's kind of sad. <laughs> it, it's kind of sad to be the end of the series. I was really enjoying doing this. But I want you guys to see him, and I want you guys to see him fast. So, some sacrifices have to be made, I guess. Throw out right here. Now, the samurai fish is not a rare, and it's not an epic, so it shouldn't be too hard to get either. Uh, he looks like he's heading kind of for it. Oh, there he goes. It's been my experience that the samurai fish in this pond moves really fast. Ah, oh, that's a treasure chest. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish that they would put these treasure chests as like a bonus to catching the fish so that you get a fish and the chest or you know some other system because I hate to fish for a fish and see a fish shadow and think, okay, I've got something and get a treasure chest. Even though there is gold and sometimes tanks in it, I'm not all about... See, there we go. i got a bunch of fire here, so I should... Let me see the one that's moving the fastest. That's the one that's going to give us the best chance. Actually, a couple of these are moving pretty quick. All right. Throw it over right here. See if I get that guy or not. I'm not sure if I had enough lead on him or not. He might have got past me before. It's just so hard with these banks to see what's going on. One right there, right under the bank. Give it a go and see if I can get him. There we go. I got that one. So I've got two of our fish. I gave myself 30 minutes and then... Eight minutes, I got two of them, or less than eight minutes. Nope, he's just two pulls. Uh, might be a charred decoy after all. Okay. That is a charred decoy. I thought that it might be. These fish are all moving kind of comfortably. And I don't think any of these is the samurai. But just to be sure, I'll catch a couple of them. There we go. I went and landed right on him. Good. Uh. That's two bites. Honestly, I can't really say as far as this pond goes that there's much that I like about it at all. It's hard to get to, hard to fish in. Other than being well out of the waste that there's no foot traffic around you, I, I really, this pond is, is not at all my favorite. All right, I got some relatively slow movers here. Wait and see if they do. 
this one's coming towards me. I'll, I'll give him a go. <clears throat> but once you see how the samurai moves, you'll understand what I mean. I just scared one away. It was by the bank. That's what I'm talking about, scaring him away. One bite, which is good. Nope, it's a charred decoy. Unless I see a fast mover, I'm not going to hold a lot of hope for this bunch of fish. See, they're not really, yeah, they're not really going fast enough. I think I'm going to reset this pond and try for it that way. That's this spell, where you summon the fish back just like you never had caught any. If I see it really fast moving when it's a fire, that's just about going to be our samurai fish. Uh, none of these are moving all that fast either. I'll fish a couple out just on the chance that I, I caught the slow, l lazy samurai fish, but yeah, none of these are moving at all. All right, well, I'll scan for it and catch a couple of them. We are at about 12 minutes. No, 10 minutes. That's right. Well, 11 minutes of fishing time. See, now it's a switch. Ordinarily, I would ignore the fire and go for the storm, but we already got Musushi, so now I'm just going to go for the fires. And there might even be another Musushi in here. I'm not checking for it, but there might be. Oh, that's a fire cuda. Yeah, I don't see a lot of these fish. Just the way they, once you have fished long enough like I have, you can just about tell what a fish is going to be by the way it moves in the water and by how, it, by how it acts with your lure. And none of these are saying to me that they're a samurai fish. So I'm going to reset again. When you do, make sure you're not standing at the edge of the cliff because one can spawn underneath the cliff at your feet and be scared away automatically. You don't want to have that happen, especially if you're still looking for the epic. Any of these guys catch my eye? This guy over here on this side, by himself. If he's a fire, we're going to go for Yep, he's a fire. He's moving kind of quick. And I'm thinking that he might be our samurai. i got to get that sensing spell off. Come on, get off of there. Come on, before he gets here. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to put it right down there, because sooner or later he's coming around that corner. I can't really see him. And this is where a lot of guessing and being able to cast well comes in. I see he, he zipped underneath me there. I want to make sure I don't scare him away, because I do believe he's our guy. Just how quick he's moving. See, he tried to dodge the lure just then. He got one pull. Two pulls. Let's see what we got. And see what I mean? There he is. That's just by how he moves. You can pick the samurais out of here because they're a little bit quicker than the other fish. Well, there you go. We've got him. I'm going to give you a good view of him before we go. Just because he's really pretty looking. <laughs> I like that red color. All right. There you go. Well, guys, it's like I said, it's kind of a sad parting. But this is the last fish that we needed to catch. And so it's going to be for now the end of the series until they give us something more. I've really had fun making this series and letting you guys see me catch these guys. <laughs> that made sense, didn't it? <laughs> I'm getting a little bit stuttering in my emotional state here. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Keep an eye out for any new fish that I'll be catching. Or if you want, go ahead and leave me a comment because I'll talk to you back. All right? <laughs> I, I hate to see this end, but we got to do it. This is Skella Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up gamers? My name is Skella Mystic. Welcome back to my series on advanced fishing technique. You know, hey, you know what? Let's not go and try to catch that Whopper Archer fish, or our one millionth mainstream decoy, or that cat dog fish. Well, there's not really a cat dog fish, but I think there should be. It would be really cool. Let's do